So I recently just switched mice. I was on the G Pro Super Light for around two years, and I decided to go with a little bit bigger, heavier mouse, which is the Razer Viper V2. This mouse is around $60 on Amazon, and it's a wireless mouse. So if you have big hands like I do, uh, I would recommend trying out different mice size. But the G Pro Super Light was super good, but I wanted to try a heavier mouse. And the problem with that is that my uh, sensitivity is going to change because I'm using a different mouse and I kind of wanted to go through and show you guys what I do to find my uh, sensitivity when I switch mice like this and how I'm able to stay consistent now I don't use a one fits all sensitivity for each game I actually go through per game and I'm go I go through the same process like I'm going to show you now so right now I'm gonna be playing some free-for-all on 20 MW 2019 because that's a game that I'm playing and right now my sensitivity is at a nine I started out usually one higher than what my old sensitivity was on uh, my old mouse. And I want to try to flick onto targets and I want it to be an instinct. And I don't want to over flick and uh, correct. So when I hear something, I want to try to shoot, stay in and see how it's just, I'm over flicking. So what I do is I stay on the sensitivity for about 30 seconds, a, a minute to 30 seconds, uh, however you feel comfortable. And I've tr I try to flick onto targets and I try up close. I try to just see how my flicks are and my tracking is on this sensitivity. Right now, we could tell it's way too high, okay? And then I'm also gonna try to hip fire. How is hip fire going? Cause that will tell me if I need to switch my uh, ADS sensitivity uh, and uh, just see how it is. So I'm gonna run through, try to hip fire these guys real quick throw this down and my hip fire sensitivity is still too fast i'm over clicking so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to lower it down by one see where we fall at and how I, how it feels and just try to click and hit multiple targets on screen so i got targets right here I know there's a guy here, I know there's a guy here, I know there's a guy over there. See how I over flicked right there? So it tells me that I'm still on too high of a sensitivity. And I want to be consistent. I want to consistently hit and track enemies. So now what I'm going to do, I kind of under flick there. Looking for enemies. Kind of hard to track. And I am now thinking that this sensitivity is still a little too high. Yep, still a little too high. Yep. Over flick. So now I know that I'm gonna lower this down by one until I get around in the same ballpark that I need to be in order to hit flick shots with this mouse. Still a little too high, I can feel it. I don't have as control over my mouse that I want to have. And just for reference, guys, this is at a 800 DPI. And I'm still not able to hit the flicks here. So I'm gonna try to get a couple kills. When they're on screen, I'm gonna try to hit this target, hit that target. So I'm able to just instinctively flick. Over flick there, under flick there. I'm trying to get as consistent as possible so that I can eventually under flick there. So that tells me I'm trailing behind. I'm over flicking and I'm under flicking. Over flicking. Over flicking. So I'm, I'm consistently over flicking. The sides right there. And I, like I said, I usually spend about a minute to five minutes or not, not a minute, 30 seconds just to try to hit just flick shots and see how I can do. I try to flick between different targets, over flicked, under flicked. So uh, these, these are off screen flicks. I try to keep it like on screen where I can see multiple people. Yeah, over flick, purposely line up across, over flick. So that tells me that's just still too high of a sensitivity. And my 180s are still over flicking. So that tells me that I need to lower this down just a little bit more. So we're gonna try six. 
And I'm gonna now try to just uh, click on targets on screen and try to follow the target. So it's looking like six feels more comfortable. Yeah, six is feeling really good with this sensitivity. I still over flicked, but I like how it feels right now when it comes to my hip fire, like moving, staying in control. I can move back and forth pretty easy. I could 180 pretty, pretty easily. So it feels pretty good. Now, another thing that I'm going to do that I have this down is that my my ADS is still pretty fast. I can't really control my ADS. So now what I'm going to actually do is to try to dial in my ADS sensitivity, okay? Now, the thing is with these games, like your ADS sensitivity is going to change per like uh, zoom or optic. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try using the gun I use most, okay? Which is this one. And now I'm gonna switch it over to like, let's say AK. Let's see how it feels. And I'm still over flicking with uh, iron sights. Trying my recoil control. I still can't dial in the ADS sensitivity. So what I'm going to do now actually is I'm going to lower my ADS sensitivity by point, uh, 0.1 or I guess point 0.10. So we're gonna lower it down to point 0.9. And I want to try to flick with this. And honestly, this just feels really good right now. Really good. I kind of over uh, flick there, so I might need to lower it down a little bit. See, I, I was still over flicking. So now I'm kind of dialing in. Now I'm going to go up one to seven with a point one ADS or point nine ADS. And honestly, that feels really good. but still a little too fast. So now I'm gonna lower the ADS down a little bit. Uh, about a 0.8. What I'm looking for is that transition between ADS and uh, hip fire to where it feels slow enough to where I can control, where my brain's like, okay, maybe I could control this. And that's feeling really, really good. But it's still a little fast when I had to stand still and flick. My tracking is pretty good on it, but now I'm going, it's just about the process. And basically what I'm doing is I'm lowering the, the hip fire till I feel comfortable. I'm lowering to where my ADS feels good. And then when I'm under flicking, I have to speed up the sensitivity. But instead of speeding up the sensitivity, I want to stay as fast as possible ma while maintaining the hip fire uh, speed that I like. Um, so I under flick there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to try upping it to eight. See, try upping it to eight. Now it still feels a little fast. Now I, I still can't control it. Now I'm gonna lower it down a little more to say 7.7. 7. Seeing how that feels, because I like how fast it is and I'm able to kind of track with it. I'm still able to flick. Now I'm kind of under flicking. So, over flick there. And it's just all a process, guys. It's basically what I'm doing. It's a lot of people ask me what I do to try to get my aim right. 
Now I'm noticing I'm not able to control it as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow her down to 7.5 for my hip fire. And gonna, my whole point is I'm gonna stay still and I'm gonna completely try to click on these targets and try to maintain a close enough flick to where I can stay on target. It's almost perfect. I'm gonna hit this, hit that guy, try to flick over here, looking, boom. So I think I found it. As I just can't see. Small adjustments. Yep, we got it. And that's gonna be my new sensitivity for this game. Now, say you're like, oh, well, new. That's great and all. What if I wanted to use affected FOV? Instead of, uh, oh, let's go to Independent. What if I was on independent? Same process. You try to find a sensitivity that you could use and that you could clearly see. Or say, Newt, I want to be on a uh, lower FOV. I don't play 120. Same process. Say you want to play, I don't know, a lot of pros in this game played 106. So now I'm just looking. It feels really fast. So I want to lower it. So let's say seven. And just like that, I kept the ADS sensitivity because that really doesn't change, but As you guys can see, there it is. And I might try around and play on this FOV. Let me know what you guys think. And you're trying to be as fast as you can. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, learn something new today. Let me know if you want to see me play on this uh, FOV because uh, it, it looks like it'll be a, a lot of fun. As always, guys, I'm going to say blessings to Humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.